the islands between Asia and Australia. Their shallow seas, mangroves and mudflats are home to a unique reclusive creature. The moon dictates its rhythms. Twice a day, the tide floods the forest. When the water withdraws and slowly uncovers the mudflats, a bizarre-looking animal appears. This is the mudskipper, the only fish that can live out of water. To enable this peculiar lifestyle, evolution has equipped mudskippers with abilities far beyond those of normal fish. They can breathe, gulping air in mouthfuls to trap in their gill chambers. They also breathe through the surface of their skin. Their large, movable eyes are on top of their head and so well evolved that they can see better in air than in water. Blue-spotted mudskippers spent more than half their life on land. The other half, they spent grazing on these muddy plains. Although there are plenty of little plants and animals to find, mudskippers often have to keep rivals off their patch. With their mouths wide open, they press up on their fins, making sideways head swipes at each other and displaying their dorsal fins. A male mudskipper demonstrates the same behavior when defending his burrow or mate. As the tide comes in, the blue-spotted mudskippers dive into their burrows. Other mudskipper species run away from the incoming tide. Gold-spotted mudskippers are more nomadic, always trying to flee the water. Their two pictorial fins mean they can walk, run, and jump. They're more like a cross between fins and legs, improved with the special feature of adapted shoulder joints. Mudskippers are constantly at risk. At low tide, they're a favorite prey of shorebirds, snakes, and mammals. At high tide, they have to avoid being attacked by predatory fish. Skipping across the surface of the mudflats. And scampering over mangrove roots, these fish have become skilled in trying to stay higher than the tide. A tree trunk is a safe refuge for the time being, but only until the moon turns the tide again.